glory to you all, respected principal, teachers, and all my dear brothers and sisters present here. First of all, I thank God for this beautiful, pleasant day. Today, I'll be preaching the Word of God. Psalms chapter 148, verses 1 to 4. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Hallelujah. The uncreated creator of heaven and the earth, Yahweh. Through Him, we are breathing. Through Him our hearts beat. Through Him we are alive today. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be worshipped. He, he is the only King. Nothing can be compared to Him. He is the only Savior. He is the Messiah. His name is Yeshua. Yeshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. I guess almost all are Christian here. So being a Christian, we pray, we read the Bible, we praise God, but that's not only the thing. In order to be a deep Christian, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to give your everything to Jesus. Then God will start using you. If, if you want God to use you, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to give your everything to Jesus. Surrendering your life to Jesus is not about you going to church or not. Surrendering your life to Jesus is not about you are a worship leader in a church or not. Surrendering your life to Jesus is not about you are a preacher or not. You can still be a preacher, but it is still surrender your life to Jesus. You can still be a leader in a church, but it is still surrender your life to Jesus. I'm not talking about you go to church or not. I'm not talking about you are a worship leader in a church or not. I'm talking about did you surrender your life to Jesus? Did you surrender your character to Jesus? Did you surrender your emotion to Jesus? Did you surrender your business to Jesus? Did you surrender your finance to Jesus? Did you surrender your ministry to Jesus? Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 28, it shows that Jesus Christ is resurrected. He is the only king who has demonstrated the resurrection power. He has proved that he is the king. You did not choose him to be the king. You did not make him to be the king. He made himself to be the king. Through the resurrection power, there are so many tombs. So many religious leaders are still there in the tombs. But there is only one tomb empty, and it is the tomb of Jesus Christ. It is the tomb of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is looking for the pure hearts. God is looking for the pure hearts. God is coming back to take the pure hearts. What is in your heart right now? What are you up to? What are you thinking of? God is looking for the pure hearts. On the judgment day, God will not ask, how much money do you have? How much followers do you have? God will not ask. God will not ask, how much science and wonders did you perform? How many records do you have? God will ask. God will ask, where was your heart, my daughter? Where was your heart, my son? If that is missing, everything will be gone in a second. Everything you have done will be gone in a second. So before it's too late, come on, people of God, children of God, repent, repent your sins, and surrender your life to Jesus. On the judgment day, your pastors cannot save you. Your parents cannot save you. It's you who is going to save yourself. So before it's too late, repent your sins and, conf and confess your love to Jesus, how much you love Him. Confess your love to Jesus, how much you love Him, and be ready for the God's coming, who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless everyone.